Hi, I'm Rick. And I'm Sharon. We are Cargo On. Cargo Conversion Building Camp. Wait, don't go anywhere. We just like to have a little fun in the beginning. But if you want to see some really cool cargo camper conversions, hear from the builders, see some tours, and see some places we've camped and some crazy adventures, then you are definitely on the right channel. Hi everyone, I want to address a couple of frequently asked questions that we get. Probably the question we get asked most of the time is where is our bathroom? So I will show you. In the cabinet under the sink, we have just a bucket with a seat and we can put bags in there and chips in there if we want. The truth is we rarely use it. Most of the time when we camp, we are at somewhere where there's a bathhouse and a shower. So this is for emergency use only and is rarely used. However, we are thinking about the possibility of upgrading maybe to a cassette toilet or something. I've never used them, so let us know what your thoughts on those. Number two is why don't we have solar? Well, we don't have solar for a couple of reasons. Number one, it really wasn't in our budget. But to be honest with you, we really don't camp in places where we don't have access to electricity most of the time. On those occasions when we do camp at a site with no hookup, we do have an inverter generator. But one of the main reasons we do not have solar because we have roof racks on our camper for boats and we haul boats, we're constantly putting boats on and off, and Rick was very concerned, you know, that it could damage the solar panel. So that's another reason. The other question we get is, why don't we have a max air fan in here or some kind of exhaust? And, well, again, that goes back to hauling boats and the roof rack, and Rick felt that putting the boats on and off the roof could possibly damage the fan or cause the fan to damage the roof. So he really did not want to do that. We do have our air conditioner and we were in Florida in the Keys in uh, Jan uh, March and it worked fine. We built this camper in September and we'll see how much it heats up this summer. So I don't know, we'll see. Maybe, maybe we do need the event. So another question we get is why did we choose this size trailer? Actually, we didn't. <laughs> this is what Rick already used this for his construction. This is not the size we would've bought. I'm just being real. <laughs> we would've bought a seven by 14 at least with a V-nose. That would give us much more room. The problem with this six foot, when we pull this bed out, we were hoping to lay this way, but Rick just fits, and if he wants to throw his arm up over his head, he doesn't fit. So we wind up sleeping the other way. A seven foot wide trailer would have taken care of all that. The other question we get is why is it so simple? We don't have a lot of bells and whistles in here. Rick didn't want a lot of bells and whistles. He purposely wanted to keep it simple. And we do find the older we get, we try to keep things a little bit simpler. Um, it's easy to maintain, you know, there's not a lot of stuff in here and, you know, we like that. As far as bells and whistles, no, we don't have a lot of bells and whistles. We don't have remotes for the lights or uh, we don't even have the, the exhaust fan. We don't have solar. We kept it very, very simple on purpose. When we camp, we're really only in this to sleep. We are outside all the time. And to be honest with you, the bells and whistles for us are outdoors. It's what the great outdoors has to offer us. Any bells and whistles we could have put in here would not compare to that waterfall or that lake or that beautiful, you know, tree or deer or, or anything that we see out there. It's never going to compare to it. And we spend most of our time out there. The same is true for cooking. We don't cook in here. Um, we do have a microwave. That is the only thing we've ever used in here to cook with. Now, if we were on a really rainy weekend or something and we had to cook, we could cook in here. So we chose to put the kitchen in the back because most of the time we are out back and we really didn't want all the, we didn't want to cook in here to have all the, you know, the odors and everything from, from cooking lingering in here. So we like the rear kitchen. Now in that rear kitchen, we have a propane stove, we have a hot plate, we have a crock pot, 
we have an electric grill. I, I think we have more appliances out back in, in the cargo area than we have, or just as many as we have in our, in our house. So we have plenty of ways to cook. If we needed to bring a hot plate in here, we could do that. So it's versatile, but like I said, normally our cooking is done out there and also we eat out there. The only time we use the microwave, sometimes we will have, I'm embarrassed to say quick, microwavable dinners because sometimes we'll pull into a site, it'll be late and we don't really want to fuss around with, with cooking and everything. So we may just nuke something in the microwave. Um, but other than that, all of our eating is outside. And then we use the microwave too to, to warm things up. Uh, Rick makes great chili, and he, that's one of our favorite things to take when we go camping is his chili. And we just nuke it. Please give us a thumbs up if you like this video, and if you want to watch more, we have plenty more videos. You all come back now, you hear?